All right. All right, so uh, today I'll be covering some material uh, based on this blog post from uh, SecNigma. I'm going to uh, breeze through a lot of the background information with the expectation that in the future, uh, other members of our group here will cover uh, some of the foundational stuff that I'm not covering. So uh, the part of it that I'm covering is when you're developing your exploit for your very typical uh, stack overflow on uh, Linux systems, uh, you get it working with an address that you specify, a stack address that you specify within GDB. But then when you run it outside of GDB, right, your, your POC, your exploit code no longer works, right? So there are many different techniques of getting around that, and I'll be sharing uh, one, one, one of those techniques. So uh, let's get started and uh, we'll explain the situation, right? So we have this uh, BOF uh, uh, program that has a buffer overflow condition where you can trigger it by sending uh, a very long string as a part of uh, one of the arguments. So for instance, if we go uh, buff, da -da, good old, Python 2, and then we go C, and we go print A times um, 200, close parentheses, right? You get a segmentation for, right? And normal condition is, you know, you just give it some string and it says done, right? So the segmentation fault uh, means there's a, a stack overflow condition. So uh, let's jump into GDB and, um, uh, basically, we're going to try to find the address for our buffer, but I guess a, a little bit of context for uh, what our situation is here, right? So there's no ASLR here, uh, no PI, uh, no depth, no stack protection, and this is a 32-bit. So a really straightforward uh, vulnerability in this case. And uh, the, this is our POC right here that will give us shell. So the shell code is something very, very simple right here. And it, it, it's basically, I believe, does an exec, and then a, and the argument for that exec is just a bin shell, right? So that, that's what the shell code is. And basically the offset here is that uh, it's 112 uh, bytes to get to the return address. And then you specify this uh, return address, uh, which is where hopefully you know, your shell code uh, should be located at, right? So let's jump into GDB. Uh, B O F, or should I? Yeah, B O F should work. Yeah, that right there. Oops. Okay, that's fine. Okay, and then uh, disassemble uh, copier. Undefined. I need it best there. Okay, cool. So uh, this is the actual uh, function that has the overflow. In this case, it's a string copy right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a breakpoint right here. So I'll set a breakpoint right here. This address. Okay, cool. So we set a breakpoint right there, and then I can just run it. And okay, and then Python arg. So this is the name of my 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 POC here. Right, arg, arg uh, py. So that's what this. I'm going to run it with that. Okay, cool. So I run over that. My uh, my breakpoint gets hit, and I can. A display the instruction, uh, the instruction pointer at this point. So it's at the ret. Um, I'm going to disable that breakpoint. So the breakpoint is disabled. I'm going to see what's on my stack. So ret will return to the return address that's that's on the stack. So doo -doo, let's see what's on the stack. So what's on the stack is, is this address right here, right? Uh, B F F F F five D C, right? And in my exploit code, right? In Little Indian D C uh, five, uh, F5, FF, uh, BF, Middle Indian, right? So that, that looks great. So it, it's going to return this guy right here. And let's just see what's there. So I would do, say, 50 uh, X bytes. And let's see what's at that address, right? So if, if you look carefully here, this is my shell code, 31C0. So we go back here, right? 31C0. So this is my show code right here and a bunch of A's, right? So I put I put my show code and a bunch of A's and then the return address, right? So if we look look at the memory here, 
my shell codes right there, and then you get a bunch of A's, right? So everything's looking really good here. So let's just continue the execution uh, within the debugger, right? We continue it and check it out, right? We have a shell down here, right? Echo, hello, right, ID. So uh, uh, basically it was successful. And right here, this is another way you can tell right here, right? Uh, GDB says it executed a new program. So everything's looking really good here in GDB. The, our, our POC exploit code. So, uh, so that exit out out of the shell that was spawned, and then now we put out a GDB. And so let's now try to run the uh, POC uh, outside of GDB and see, let's see what happens. So buff uh, Python arg uh, py, we run it. And unfortunately we don't get a shell. So um, the, the reason that that's the case is that uh, the memory of the stack uh, when you run out of G when you run it outside of GDB and within GDB are slightly different because because of the environment. And uh, I'm going to show you uh, one technique where we can make the environment the same, and then therefore uh, use an address in GDB that will work when we're running our exploit outside of GDB. So yeah, with, with that, I I'm going to jump into that. Right. So let's go back into GDB, and then we're going to do boff. And so uh, this technique has to do with how the environment variables are set within GDB. So to show all the environments with GDB, you do uh, show environment here, right? And it shows you all the, 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 the environment variables that are set when you run GDB. So the issue uh, with that is that if you have uh, outside of GDB, uh, clear here, right? You could also uh, see your environment variable and uh, according to my setting right now, right, all the environment variables are the same, except for these last two environment variables right here. And uh, if you really uh, know how uh, programs are executed, um, when a program gets executed, um, space on the stack is set aside for all your different arguments. So uh, the the name of the command that you're running and all, all the arguments you pass into, and also so that that that's one uh, that's uh, one set of memory space that gets allocated on the stack. The other set of memory that gets allocated on the stack is for all your environment variables. So the fact that GDB here has these two additional environment variables that makes uh, the 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 stack space different from when you run it outside of GDB. So a uh, technique you can use is you can remove uh, those uh, environment variables uh, when you're sort of uh, trying to get the right address within GDB. So uh, let's go ahead and do that, right? So we go uh, unset environment lines, uh, unset environment uh, columns. Okay, cool. And uh, let's check out our breakpoints, no breakpoints. Uh, disassemble. Uh, copier, cool. So we'll set our breakpoint here. Boom, boom, breakpoint there. Okay, I think that's good. And let's just check the environments variables again to make sure. Okay, yeah. So th those two extras are not there. Okay, so let's uh, run our program here. Python, and then it's going to be arg uh, py. Cool, our, our breakpoint gets hit. And so, so now what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to check the stack for our shell code, right? So uh, original, so let's, for one, let's like check out the stack. Let's see what's on the stack here, ESP. So that's where the cur currently, what, where the stack is. Uh, originally, right, originally uh, when, when we um, were trying to find the address, it was at this location right here. So let's just roughly look look around that space. So we go dump uh, 80 uh, x bytes at around this address. So what we see here is let's 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 look at this carefully. So it looks like uh, uh, down here. So it looks like our shell code is down here. So it looks oh right here. So here, right, let's, let's, let's eyeball it again, right? So if you go back to our code here, right? Our shell code starts at 31C0. So it looks like now that we've unset those environment variables so that the environment variables is the same in GDB as it is when you run the program outside of GDB, uh, it's starting here at this 5C address, right? So that, that's what we identified here, right? We unset those environment variables and then we ran our program and then we looked for the new address. In th this case, it's a uh, uh, F55C. 
So let's update our uh, POC here. So uh, 5C and 5F, is that it? F, uh, FC, FC, not DC, FC, okay. FC. Okay, there. So this is uh, the, uh, the new address according to our investigation within GDB here, right? So, da, 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 da. yeah, yeah. So, so we got the new address here. So uh, one thing we could try, try is, yeah, it, it's good to test it within GDB itself. So let's uh, first disable our uh, breakpoint here. Okay, disable one, cool. And then uh, this execution is with uh, the, the older version of our POC. So it's not using our updated POC. So let's just uh, rerun it with our updated POC here. Python or py run it, right? And check it out, right? We get we get a shell. So it looks like it, it's working right now with this uh, new um, uh, sort of uh, differently configured GDB. So let's exit this. That's from the shell and this is from GDB because they like to use different words. So now let's try to run it directly uh, outside of GDB. Home, Dave, Boff, uh, Python, arg, uh, py. We run it and we get a shell and we get root. Right, so uh, that uh, so what I demonstrated here is uh, one technique where you can get your um, exploit to work with the same address uh, inside GDB and outside GDB. Uh, a word of caution: so this was very specific for this vulnerability and sort of the conditions that, that I was showing. Right, in other cases, you have to consider how you might be running GDB and how that might be differ from uh, when you're sort of, uh, uh, how the target is ran outside of GDB. It might be a networking process or, or something like that where it's completely different from you run it within GDB. So this trick that I'm showing you won't work, but yeah, so just something to, to, to keep in mind. And with that, let's see, that concludes the demonstration.